Hi folks, really quickly, I've just parked up at Crosby Beach um, and I'd be out there filming this, not in the car, but for the fact that it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit breezy. Uh, can I implore you, please, to, 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 not help me, it's not for me, it's for you as runners. Um, I've just been watching a chap warming up before he went for his run I was I was watching him and thinking are you doing a cool down or are you doing a warm up because the difference is is super important and not just in semantics or descriptions but in terms of what you do before or after your exercise so this gent was doing some lunges then he was doing some um, bringing her knees up but from a stationary position and there are loads of different warm-ups, loads of different cool-downs. And, uh, you know, I don't have the the, the, the the final say on what's right and what it, uh, uh, for, for one or for the other or, or whether you should do a particular time warm-up or not. But what I would say is warm up should mimic the activity to follow. So start with a walk, slow, slow run, whatever slow is for you, slow run. And then you move into a few high knees, a few heel kicks, gentle, gentle, always the time, always all the way through, slow running. And I'm doing this with my hand because I try and use a rectangle shape. And then you can perhaps, uh, you may want to throw some short, short, but fast bursts of speed in. And then perhaps you might want to, uh, I don't know, you might want to do some backwards running. It's a great activity, uh, a warm up activity. If you've got some downhill in in the run to follow for sure, and uh, yeah, yeah, Michael Flatley's. If you're doing if you're doing uh, uh, trail running, as I call them, so that's that great minds or karaoke. Depends if you make them into a dance move or not, like river dance. But anyway, um, this particular gent was was doing this sort of stuff. I would I would save and I would use for my cool down, and I would advise my runners who I coach to use as a as a cool down technique. Uh, and it's not really. Much as you know, I try and say there's nothing, there's no wrong way to do a certain thing in running, but that there can be a way that damages your body. So it's great that he was just there, just, a, just not, not very close to where I am now. Actually, uh, he was doing a great job uh, because he was he was he was doing something. So for all of us, you know, and we've all been there, I think, where we haven't done a warm up, we haven't done a cool down, and we've just gone off and run. He's he's way ahead of us there, hundred percent, because at least he's he's looked at what to do and he's doing something. It's just there was a way of doing it that might have actually served him better and might have been even more efficient for him personally. So, uh, yeah, try and mimic the activity to follow in your warm up, and for your cool down, you're really just putting those muscles back in their box. If that makes sense, you're trying to uh, what are you trying to do? You 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 sort of the, the elasticity of the muscles and the, the uh, and the sort of the benefits to your body during exercise that that provides are incredible but it's not what you want after you've finished exercising after you've finished running or after you've finished walking or whatever it is that you are doing so yeah different setup for cool downs but well, please please if i can implore you to do those things i would thanks for listening hope you're having a great time a great week it's friday at the moment for me at least uh so have a great weekend too Catch you soon, guys. Bye now.